light on. That's why I'm doing my reality show, because I just want to show what steps I'm taking, what's happening to me for my transformation for the, the greatest moment ever. Okay, so now, this is what we're going to talk about, because later on after um, I speak to, of course, the sports model, John Quinlan, that, um, he, that he, you know, he, he's going to talk about what's happening with him, because the, the craziest thing is that someone took his uh, his photos and made contact with other people and made pretend that it was him. So what I'm saying is that they're taking his model photos, putting it under their name, and then making contact with people would be awesome. Okay, so why don't we get on with the show, and then after we, after we talk to John Quinlan, and he's going to talk about his stolen identity and what it has done to him and how it affected him. And, of course, it's a good way for him to tell people exactly to watch out because there's people like him that do things like him, of course, like sports modeling and things like that. And if you're if you're a sponsor or somebody that's trying to, you know, you're trying to land a job, you know, doing for, you know, doing modeling, and then somebody says, okay, well, how come, he, is he really like this? It's not, hey, before I even go on, it's always, it's always great to hear from you. Oh, man. Thank well, you so much. I love talking to you, all the, all the positive feedback you give me. It's, I appreciate it. Oh, of course, of course. And, you know, and I just can't even wait to get into this. And I'm sorry to, you know, I'm not rushing you. It's just that I can't believe what's happening, that, you know, it uh, happens to a lot of people, you know, that crazy. somebody is using your pictures to make contact with other people. And then for you to watch your picture on Facebook being, this, you know, like having people making, uh, uh, you know, comments about it that are not, uh, how can I put this, that are not nice. And I don't mean right. that they're calling you names or anything. They're saying things that a woman would say. You know, mm-hmm. it's not it's not good. How, how do you feel about that? Because I was surprised when I found this here. It sounds like um, it sounds like a grown man that's not really in touch with himself. That's what right. it sounds like to me. I'm not I saying know. that kids wouldn't do that, but you know, I know. It, I've read it. I went through it and I saw the comments and I saw what was written. And come on now. I mean, not to yeah. say you're not well known. You're well known, but you know the way it looks. It doesn't look like a kid did it. It looks like a you know a grown ass man, yeah, an idiot. Like, you know, part of me, you know, part of me wants to say it's a it's a family kid because uh, you know I don't want to believe someone would be that crazy. <laughs> You'd you know be surprised. I mean? You'd be I surprised. Mean, think about it. You got one of the best bodies in the business. I'm I'm, I'm being honest with you. I'm not saying that you know it's not your fault. But you do. You have one of the best bodies in the business. So, you know, of course you're going to be looked at by women, and then you're going to be looked at by men, obviously. I mean, that that's a given. You can't stop that. And obviously there's nothing wrong with it, as long as you're being noticed. But when somebody takes your identity, suppose, you know, a magazine is saying, looking you up, and they see you under Robert Willis. They're going to assume that, I wonder if John... Uh, I wonder if this is John, and I wonder if he has another identity, and I wonder if he's doing this. Out there. So I'm assuming that if someone sees some kind of a thing with someone else's name and derogatory pictures and horrible sexual innuendos and comments, mm-hmm. they'll assume that it's it's not me, you know? To be on the cover of a book. Come on. And, you, and you, yeah, you're cool. not I'm new to a... it. You're not new to it, so come on. Right. And, uh, <laughs> but it, 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 it's cool, man. I mean, I'm like... I'm like a regular, and people who know me can relate to this. People who really know me. I'm a regular blue collar type guy. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not flashy. I'm not loud. I'm not showy. You know what I mean? I'm just a regular kind of down to earth, chill kind of dude. But I'm not one of these guys that go on your show and just and brag and and oh, here he goes again. He's bragging about this stuff again. You were never right. like you know, that. I was surprised. Oh, I was trying to you know, make like, you do it the first time. Uh, that's not me. That's, that's not me. I'm a, I'm hiding. I'm always in hiding. <laughs> yes, I was trying to. The first time when we did our show together, I was like, okay. I said, this guy's amazing. I'm going to make him talk. I went into the wrestling thing. He was like, yeah, yeah. I trained with Brutus Beefcake. And with, <laughs> you know, Brutus Beefcake and Kowalski. I was like, okay, let me try something else. Okay, so you was on that Muscle Inc. magazine. Yeah, yeah, I had fun doing that. I'm like, okay, you was in that children's book. Yeah, 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 I like that. Like what? What do I have to say? I'm naming all the things that you did. Every magazine telling you that you know you were oh uh, of uh, sports model of the month of the year last. I'm like, did you? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm like, oh my god.